Mike is live already! Oh, I didn't see anything about the clip yet, but it looks another naked man or semi naked in the water. <laughs> um, excuse me! You can't make a suggestion like that and then not follow through with it. I think there is a noise in the background. Roy is making a lot of noise. What did you say? He said, I love you dearly. Oh. Mike is live. Mike is live. Mike is live. Mike is live. Can you explain me who is Mike? Mike is live. Mike is that brother, lovely chap up there who records our voices. Is it black? <laughs> Hello. Hiya. I'm Toy. I'm Goy. And welcome to another episode to the road to Tel Aviv. Woo. We're getting closer. It's like we are sailing in a boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In the Mediterranean, <laughs> like whoosh, whoosh, trying to get trying to get to Tel Aviv. Wilson, <laughs> <laughs> Azerbaijan, right after this. So, Azerbaijan today. Azerbaijan. <clears throat> what can you tell me about Let Azerbaijan? Me. Azerbaijan has a population of just under 10 million. It's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. It's not a very big place. But yeah. That's... Azerbaijan has a city that is on stilts. It's called Neft Daslari. I hope I said that right. And it started out as an oil rig and then developed into an entire city. There are hotels, houses, shops, all on stilts above the sea. Baku, the capital, is yeah. home to the Arm Wrestling Federation and they take arm wrestling very seriously. Arm wrestling? Mm -hmm. Ah, well done. <clears throat> right. Are you are you are you watching there in the Azerbaijan? Ready? Go! Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm sat at an angle! I don't care. Oh. I am <clears throat> you complaining. Wowzers! Girls are taught to crochet from a very young age in order to prepare them for the Seven Beauties tournament, in which they must crochet stockings against the clock, and whoever crochets the best stockings is deemed the winner. I didn't understand the word you just said. <laughs> Crocheting. What is that? Like it's kind of like knitting, but with a hooked needle. Baku is also home to the world's largest KFC, which is 1,600 square meters. So the biggest KFC is in Azerbaijan. Yeah. And lastly, these are some quirky things. Yeah, I'm checking my fuck. Sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry. Just some quirky things that exist in Azerbaijan. There's a museum for miniature books. Okay. Apparently, there's a copy of the Quran that's that big. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a house made from entirely from glass bottles and the world's second tallest flagpole is in Azerbaijan. It's 162 meters tall. Wow. That was Azerbaijan in the incorrect facts. Maybe incorrect Maybe. facts. Maybe. Maybe some of them are correct. I hope so. Please let us know in the comments below if, if they are correct or not. Yes. I, maybe I wish I, I need to fire him. <laughs> So, Azerbaijan in Eurovision. Tell all. Tell I was all. quite surprised that Azerbaijan is quite new to the, to the, to the uh, Eurovision. They joined in 2008. They, Azerbaijan, Babies. probably because they joined, they were so happy to join the Eurovision, they were really, really uh, keen in sending bangers. And they qualified. Good production. Qualified 10 out of the 11 finals. Wasn't last year the first time they didn't. I remember that. It being crazy. I oh. love the song last year, and if you haven't watched uh, Goy's performance for Fuego on the mountains of Madeira, there is a, a little one, a little uh, show about uh, a, a, with the song Cross, Cross My, My Heart, Heart by Isel. It was really, really, really heartbreaking to see that Isel is not qualifying because mm -hmm. I personally love the song. I also and love the, what's the story. Yeah. And again, it was in that semi final. That was the first song that played on that semi final. That was our welcome to live Eurovision. And it was, it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. My heart. I tear down the As you know, they finished six out of the 10 times they were in the finals yeah. in top 10. Oh, so, someone knows what to do yeah. there in Azerbaijan. Yeah. So so if you remember the song from 2009, Always On My Mind, Always On My Mind. 
and, to, and 2010 it was Drip Drop by Sephora. Oh. It was a really good song yeah. as well. And there were other songs that are very, very good. As I said, there is something in Azerbaijan songs that are... I remember one performance, I can't remember the song, where the man was singing, but he was stood next to a glass box and there was a dancer who was mirroring everything he did. And at one point he stood on top of the box, so the dancer's upside down inside of the side. And you would like to know because you love duets and you love duets when it's a man and a woman. Oh, yes. um, they want... Oh my god, I didn't write it. 2011, you would be glad to know uh, a duet by Azerbaijan won man and a woman running scared. That was the name of the song, Ellie and Nikki. Why did I name the men first? I'm not going there. Anyway. <laughs> Eurovision. So let's see what they're doing this year. So this year they are sending a male singer. If Another we, man. If we, if we missed uh, singers, men sing, men. We didn't get enough D. I didn't see anything, but by the thumbnail, it looks like is naked. No, he's not naked. He has swimming costume. Another underwater Another man, man underwater. Whew. A wet man. <laughs> That's going to be under the water bottle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, can you help me try to... Chingiz. <laughs> no. It I'm just it. pronouncing it how it's I think it may be Chingiz. 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 I think they have Chingiz. 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 Okay, we don't know. I'm sorry uh, if uh, uh, we offend someone. We don't know how to pronounce it. Probably we might offend Chingiz. Well, Chingiz, if you watch that, sorry. say hi. Yeah. Maybe you will answer my Instagram messages. Uh, the name of the song is... True. Truth. It's important to say, like every reaction we are doing here, we are sharing with you our own first opinion and we are not here to offend, hurt, objectifying or insult you or your country. And if we are doing so, please. Let's watch Shingiz Truth Azerbaijan 2019 starting now. Uh, you just put the Netherlands on. Jellyfish. Yeah, you put the Netherlands on. But the, 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 there was no <laughs> jellyfish in the Netherlands. Ooh. 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 Wow! This is this is good. This is slick. Wow. So there were some instruments at the start before the beat kicked in that sounded really ethnic. Yes, yes, yes. At the beginning, at the beginning, at the beginning, it, it yes. was a bit. Ethnic. And then he did a bit of praise singing. Yes. I hope all that comes later on in the song, and it's not too modern. I hope it's a really nice fusion of because it's suddenly gone very current pop now. But it's it's good. It's still good. Yeah, and the video is fantastic. Check it. Did he meet Shafita? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shafita could be his, uh, his, his back, back yes. vocal. She'll steal the show. <laughs> Probably some of them don't know, many of them don't know who Shafita is. Yeah. Check our videos, you will find out. <laughs> the clip is fantastic! <laughs> For me! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> it's got all the elements the song needs to be captured. Come on, let's bring the bridge like you want. Like, give me a meter shift, give me a breakdown, just give me something. 
Shut up! Shut up! Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Shut up! Oh my god! Nice drum fills. Shut up! You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to shut up. <laughs> I can't shut up, you know me. This has the all right ingredient to be a massive hit. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it's going to be on live. I'm sure Azerbaijan has been Azerbaijan, they always put something really interesting on, yeah. on, on the stage. Maybe they'll have a big tank of water and those moments. It will be inside. Ooh, ooh. That was really, really good. I felt like it took the uh, Sweden song last year, which the guy sang pretty much in falsetto for all of it, but specifically the chorus was really high, and this was really high for him singing as well, but it was a lot less difficult to hear than the Sweden ones. So this was, like, let's rein it in, let's not make it too out there. Uh, it had the woe woes, which is always always good for Eurovision, because it means you not only enjoy the song, but you immediately join into that woe woe bit after the chorus. And I don't know, vocally what he can do from this because it's not live and it didn't require a lot of singing but it's a solid song but you know what you know what i'm thinking about <clears throat> now i'm thinking about finland and i'm thinking about the root and the root came to this competition to bring a banger of dance and it was completely failed yeah i'm sorry yeah this is this is a this is it this this is it so modern yeah. with a lot of ethnic in the beginning and in the bridge i think I yeah. That's possibly why I have a slightly sour taste in my mouth because it teased a really ethnic sound and didn't do that. I don't know. I kind of enjoyed that we got a bit of it in the beginning because it gets us to the emotion. Okay, you are going to the Azerbaijan area and then in the bridge it brought this voice as well with the extra... Listen, Shingiz. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I think, yeah, he's hot. He is hot. He's sexy. Mm. It's a very gay club song. <laughs> yeah. Because shut up, it's like, oh, shut up. Oh, sh you know, it's kind of a bit of a camp, but I'm very connected to that. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. I can't fault it, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, then. I <clears throat> enjoyed it. And I it will grow and grow and grow because uh, it's really catchy. I can't wait to hear it again. Yeah. I'm looking forward to see what Azerbaijan is, is, is preparing for us on the stage, mm -hmm. on the night itself. Azerbaijan. Not only you're qualified, you are back to the top 10. So, choosing time. Malta or Azerbaijan? I'm sticking with Malta. Because <gasps> this didn't surprise me. And because of what they teased with the eth ethnic sound, it disappointed me a little bit. So, whereas Malta's song wowed me and grasped me all the way through. And I'm still desperate to hear it again, but it's not on Apple Music. What about you? Oh gosh. It's got a serious decision to make. Like my right hand says Luca, <laughs> <laughs> my left hand says Shingis. You can't have them both, I'm afraid. I mean, in the fantasy you can, but in the rules of our Eurovision road, <laughs> you've got to pick one song. Luca or Shingis? Right after this break. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut <laughs> Luca. I'm uh, really surprised. I'm, you. I'm, I'm Luca, and the reason why there are more elements in the song itself, like the changing the music, the changing the, the rhythm, dancey, I'm connected to it. Now it's a bit unfair because I've heard uh, Luca at least a million times since we, we <laughs> reaction to it, at least. I know that I'm allowed to be back to that list and pick one at the end of this. So for that reason, thing is you're going there, but you are in the first of the queue, kind of. You push, you <laughs> You're push, at the front you of push, the queue, you which pushed, is the sloppy second. Listen who you pushed. You pushed the Netherlands, and you pushed Kobe, 
at the Israel and you push okay. to Australia, you are in front of the queue if I'm to change my mind. Please let us know in the comments below what you thought about Azerbaijan entry. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, send us a message and maybe buy yourself some sweet threads like this. Yeah. And see you guys very, very soon. Bye.